Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This is episode 4. Last time we went to the Atomai Institute. I had a chat. I uh, had a, just a little innocent chat with Dr. Hypatia. There was nothing bad that happened whatsoever. No crown killer split personality involvement. It was actually genuinely really, really surprising to have Hypatia be the crown killer and to resolve that plotline quite quickly. I actually thought that was going to go quite later into the game in terms of the crown killer, but uh, we have cured her and she will now unfortunately face the horrors of her actions. Uh, but we have offered her to come aboard. I, I don't know if that will happen. I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out. Uh, we do have a note here uh, from Megan Foster as well. Dr. Hypatia needed a place to sleep, so I cleared the stuff out of the spare cabin. I was able to sell most of it. Here's what's left of the money. It's not a lot, I know. Whale oil is expensive and under imperial rationing decree, but you know that. <laughs> okay, um, so she's actually come aboard already. Um, and the spare cabin has been cleaned out, which means that might be the one that was locked before that we weren't able to investigate. That'll be nice. Um, I really like you, you finish a mission and you seem to get a souvenir from the uh, from the previous missions that you that you do, which is kind of cool at your little desk. As they say up in Tivia, watch the faces of those who bow the most deeply or some such. You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Adamire. Yeah, she came quick, because uh, we were like, hey, do you want to uh, just come with me, you know? <laughs> um, maintenance list. I wasted hours on it and I couldn't get it stopped. I'll shut the water off, assuming I can find the crank wheel. Something to deal with once Sokolov is safe. Check bridge tubing, done. Hold down oil, done. Buy onions, done. Uh, we need a crank wheel. <laughs> Drain engine room. All right, is that something for us to do? Grand Guard, trying to keep me from leaving. Oh, you're here. Stay with me a moment. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh, but that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him, but something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. <laughs> Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me, but I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. You're welcome. So she's in this room, not the room that was previously locked. Damn, you stuck up on the Adamire solution. My dreams are still filled with visions. Some of which I'd sooner forget. When I first got here, I was in a daze, but I'm feeling better. I may have knocked that over. Spirit has been unburdened, and she's gaining strength each day. I'm not sure how long I'll stay here, but I appreciate being away from Adamar. A few days recovery has helped. It might be the salty air or the rocking of the boat. Maybe just being around good people again. Yes. Okay. And she's got notes here. On a boat with friends, I believe I slept. Thankfully, without the usual nightmares. Perhaps the sea air does me good. 
The captain, Megan Foster, brought some tea early. Such an interesting woman. She seemed to understand about my strange, disjointed memories and the feelings of dread that accompany them. As soon as I am able, I must return to Adamaya. So much of the last few months seems a blur. What was I accomplishing? What of my research into serums for the Black Spittle? My work was so easily derailed. I can only conclude I was suffering from a complete exhaustive breakdown. I will need time to recover. Megan must be up on deck. Alright, well I gotta go find a, a crank wheel. I gotta see a crank about a wheel. Uh, Ramsey and the crown killer. Two pieces of the puzzle. More to go. So, the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. That they did. Hypatia did terrible things under the influence of her formula, but she's free now. But for a few allies. Huh? Was that the heart? Just no get the shit out of me. And then I looked at the fucking painting of uh, Delilah and I'm like, yeah! A reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent number one, which we definitely uh, have read, I believe. Um, because we're looking for, yeah, number two. It's just been moved here to instead. Reach Jindosh, I'll have to take the carriage through lower, then upper Aventa. That's Jindosh, huh? We got a uh, Salvador Dali over here. I wonder how recently this silver graph image of Jindosh was made. With a couple dozen clockwork soldiers, Jindosh changed the empire. What would he do with an army? I really love the things changing on this board that we can investigate. Clockwork Soldier Basics. To all personnel, after last week's disaster, the grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh, circulated the following information related to his Clockwork Soldiers. All Grand Guard personnel uh, should read this report. The Clockwork Soldier is protected by armored wooden plates. If some miscreant destroys these, then there's nothing protecting the vulnerable mechanisms underneath. If someone knocks anything off the clockwork's head, the thing will attack anyone it can, ally or not, that means you. Given the expensive optics Mr. Jindosh has provided each clockwork with, they can see in front and in the back. Remember if that if one of them goes haywire. If some fool is able to get close enough, there's a small panel on each clockwork that can be rewired, which will invert their perception of friend and foe. Again, that means you get attacked. Keep these things in mind, and the clockworks will be an asset, not a liability. Third Lieutenant Fiora Diaz. So we don't have any rewire tools yet, but that'll be very nice. But there's an eye in the back of their head, too. We'll find you, Anton. If I had uh, my, if I upgrade my dark vision, this shows resources and mission items. So I could potentially have greater dark vision on and find this crank wheel. Just wondering if that's a worthy element of my time because I might want to really play around with linking enemies together. Linking up to three enemies, it would be really nice for a group and then just rendering one of them unconscious. So I'm going to do this instead. This is a great ability. I just am really excited to actually use it. Oh. Also, I found the crank wheel. Could you imagine me upgrading to my upgraded dark vision? And, uh... <laughs> and going, huh. So tell me why uh, Megan was not able to find this thing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, we did it. That's nice. Uh, Blood of the Abel House. See, this is the thing. Returning to this place. 
I'm not sure if we're gonna have new books that will litter around the place or if they've already been here. Oh, a reflection of my journey to the Pandician Continent 4. This one's new. We still haven't read number two. <laughs> Chapter 16. Two dead on our first day on the continent, but the new world was not sated and would have one more, not other than the captain himself. His group had found a cluster of small rodents, much like rabbits or prairie moles. The lure of fresh meat proved too much temptation for our good captain, who had dined on scant fish and the same rations as the crew all these dreary months. He was able to grab one of the creatures with his bare hands, but the docile beasts were not so tame after all. Having allowed the captain to pick it up, the creature became enraged and delivered several stings from a gland hidden in its tail. The captain complained of heat and itching where the stings had penetrated, but insisted they press on. He died of asphyxiation within a quarter hour. It was suddenly obvious to me that at this rate of attrition we would not only fail to sufficiently reach uh, research the continent, but we might soon lack enough crew to make the return voyage. Something had to be done to save the venture, and so I immediately declared myself captain. On my orders, the remaining crew kept to the relative safety of the beach for the duration of the week. Though I sent two young academy students, armed with nets and cages, to catch a live sample of the prairie bowl that had so swiftly killed the captain. As first and foremost, ours was a research expedition. Uh, so I think something that's uh, at least nice is when you pick up a new book, it looks like it does reflect on the side of the screen like it goes here here's the book um you just have to remember to mark it off as well so it's one way to identify having duplicate books or not but that is still locked all right It's a very beautiful game, isn't it? Look at that. Golden hour, baby. A light on the water like that, seeing the Sokonos civilization. Look at that. Just that massive mountain. That's beautiful. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Ready? Can we go get Sokolov? I'm ready. Ready. All right. Let's get underway. The Clockwork Mansion. Anton Sokolov is being held at the mansion of Kirin Jindosh, grand inventor to the Duke and creator of the Clockwork Soldier. Get inside, rescue Sokolov, and eliminate Jindosh before he builds an army of clockwork soldiers. Now, I'm wondering if the domino ability works on these soldiers, because if you were to rewire or eliminate one, what happens? Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. I gotcha. Alrighty then. Get a rewire tool at the black market shop. I will do my best. See if we can actually find anything down here. Yeah. Look 
Hexe. and sudden tanning books. I see a mine collapsing on a dozen workers. A beggar succumbs to blood lice. A cat sleeps on a velvet pillow. I hear laughter. Somewhere there is still merriment in song. And the gentle ease of friendship. The Duke had just awoke from a dream. Our dreams have power, especially with uh, the Outsider. The ocean is a malignant force, exists to drive us mad or drag us down deep, where our skin and organs turn. Just listening to the Kingpin speak his nonsense. For those poor fools who make their trade on the waters, I wish them luck. Conus is a land of tall timber, fierce winds, and deep silver mines. Leave the ocean for those with no other choice. Are you uh, coming tonight? Nah, not this time. You up for a beer later? You bet. Rob the boy for all I care. Every time I want to just walk around the streets, there's always just guards being like, huh? Who's that? You know, and I'm like, god damn it. I just want to walk around. I want to be where the people are. I've got stupid guards attacking me all the time. We're playing dice tonight. You in? Wouldn't miss that. So we've got a outsider shrine up here. This city is a place of riches. Not all get a seat at the banquet table. First thing that we do is go straight into an outsider shrine. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindash, a prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater, playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since. Oh. What should we do about Karen Jindush? <clears throat> lethal or non-lethal, eh? Wasps. I just keep wanting to call them wasps, because, like, tell me that they're not wasps, you know? Blood flies, I know, but, like, blood wasps sound so much cooler. Uh, or maybe I'll avoid them, because we've already come in through the window instead. Um, wine, the wine bottle is not listed as flammable because it's not. 
sadly. Why couldn't that be a different kind of liquor, hmm? Whispers from the Void by Barnoli Mulani. Treat us on the physical existence of that foreign realm, excerpt. It is a common story. A person has stopped breathing, pinned under carriage wheels or some other tragic happenstance, and is thought to be dead. But when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. But nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us, lost to the world itself. And what do they experience while in this temporary death? Darkness. Nothingness. No, indeed not, they tell us, as so many before have, that they were in a particular place and can describe it vividly. And who among us does not know of this place? Have we not all seen it in our dreams, this place we share in the farthest reaches of our minds, the realm where nothing makes sense, where one is at once both lost and at home? The Void. Now, we've read the Void books already. And again, being able to test that by picking up the book and seeing if it uh, goes onto the side of our screen as a... Uh, as a new item or not. Alright, I think we can leave this creepy place. Alright, where's next on our list? Got a bone charm right here. Whee! Uh, looks like it's inside. Jesus. But like going into so many rooms, there's just dead people everywhere. This is the Grand Guard, too. Lucky Needle. Okay. The Lucky Needle. Slight chance to recover sleep darts? Oh, yes, please. Um, I will equip that one. That one's made for me. Letter to Bonville. Major Bonville, thank you again for your help. Without you, it would have been impossible to trace the final members of the Grand Guard who were with Stilton that night three years ago. The last man had made it all the way north to Meyer, if you can believe it, and was recovering at a Tivium Asylum for the poor, claiming to have seen all manner of strange things on the night of Stilton's last social gathering. He even described an exotic hooded figure visiting the manor. Perhaps someone connected to Stilton's disappearance. Such matters are best left to military men, such as yourself, I suppose. I still have your bank agent's name and address. Rest assured, your final payment will be delivered soon. I'm also sending a small flask of a liquor that is close to my heart, made from the pomace left over after wine grapes have been pressed. Please think of me as you enjoy. Yours truly, Brianna Ashworth. Damn. Oh, and we get a painting. Ramsey, Stochastic Eyes. There's our painting. Very good. Just realized I had to switch back over to my previous webcam again, because I was going to end up in Lag City, and uh, we don't want that. All right, uh, we're going to go to the Black Market, because there's another rune here. We'll try and avoid these guards. Uh, uh? Oh, I wasn't crouched. For some reason, I like I thought I was crouched. I was like, hello? How did he see me? Eyes in the back of his head. I love the concept of, like, dude hears footsteps and goes, huh? Immediately suspicious, like there's no one else walking around here. <laughs> years ago, some part of me remains. But the world seems strange. The world is strange. Who's that? Who's that? The Roseboro Collection. It is kind of a really uh, hilarious contrast with a game like this sometimes because I genuinely adore the world and the art direction here and I want to take it all in and investigate everything. But I've got to be sneaky and I can't linger in one place for too long, otherwise I get in trouble. <laughs> so it's a really funny thing when I'm like, Ugh, come on, man. I want to look at everything. But to do that, you got to pay the price. Hey, 
Times are hard. Help me out if you can. You're gonna light your mattress and everything on fire, buddy. Appreciate it. I'll let you in on a secret. I saw people coming and going recently. Looking for whale oil. Up to something. Up to something, huh? I worked in the silver mines here until the dust got to my lungs. This fat woman with a tibian woman who stooped yesterday to get him a coin. Everybody's got the willies now. Why'd you do that, sir? Said he might collapse. Speak up, mate. Why'd you spit on that woman? I'm tired. How long, my dears? How long must I endure in this shadow state? So many people. Palm and gate key needed, huh? Her grand guard are too friendly to strangers. Who needs an apartment gate key when you've got the ability to fail your jumps? Alright. Oh, or do this. Ha ha! Alright, I'm in. We could have gone in this way. If you're not with the guard, I'm happy to serve. I see a rune. <coughs> oh, you've also got a key. Okay. I don't know you. I'm new to Karnaka. I need a tool that can rewire a wall of light, the kind the Grand Guard uses. And I'd prefer not to explain myself. I can help you out, but not right now. Don't even linger here. I'm supposed to get a visit from Paolo, someone you don't want to meet. Come back later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Paolo is coming by. Hmm. So, could we potentially... I think he's here. Yeah. I was like, could we potentially... Watch this happen. They'll see you if you try to leave. Find a place to hide and we'll do business afterwards. Short blades, the good stuff. This picture of Pascal! I know what you mean. Do you? Because last time you gave me some backwater foundry. <laughs> that wouldn't hold an edge. And snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too. But I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Pop off maybe 10%? 30. Because I like you. By next week. He's made, made the hollers into, into something more than just a streak ahead. You'll have the cutters, I promise. The, the dice are special. Shape ever so slightly. She keeps them tucked into a corset to land her win when the bedding really gets going. Um, I wonder why your face is covered, lady. That's my business. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Paolo. In this part of town, everything's my business. And slumming rich kids should remember all that etiquette they learned. Maybe you need another lesson. Is that what you came down here for? Get lost or I start stabbing you. Did I... I'm like, I'm confused because... I think I I think I got spotted was uh, but I I don't know if that was I don't know if that was scripted or not. Whatever you thought was gonna happen, you just dreamed it. Um, I want to restart because I obviously have no idea if that was intentional or not. I was obviously poking my head out from under a table. 
Um, but let me try that again. <laughs> Which is so funny. That's it. Stay out of sight. All right, I'm going to stay here, and this time I'm not going to uh, poke my head out. It was just really funny because I was like, I need to use the heart to get dialogue. You know how it is. And then he was looking right at me. They want part of me that doesn't make even my toes. Maybe some new map. So we've got Pedro Pascal in this game. That's pretty awesome. Maybe. Okay, what is happening with this dialogue? I need eight new cutters, short blades, the good stuff, Morley steel. I know what you mean. Do you? Because last time you gave me some backwater foundry garbage that wouldn't hold an edge and snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too, but I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Pop off maybe 10%? 30. Because I like you. By next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseers in the Dust District, the Witch Empress, and these clockwork soldiers protecting the aristocracy. All bad for business. But if I get my way, Karnaka will be a different city a year from now. Oh. Okay. So I did just get caught normally. Okay. I was wondering if the, the getting caught is scripted or not. Please make the howlers into something more than just a street gang. Mm. But then you can you can get caught and then engage in combat with the gang, which means you could eliminate Paolo uh, at that point in time, right? That's kind of interesting, because I don't know if that's ever going to be sort of an objective or a mission for us. Hmm. I used to own a cafe down at the docks, but the smell of fish blood was stronger than the smell of... Welcome. You look like someone with refined tastes. What new upgrades available? Plans. So we unlocked uh, Hardened Bolt, uh, Instant Sleep Dart, Incendiary Bolt, and the Stinging Bolt. Causes an enemy to flee and forget. Okay, so let's have a look at what we can afford. Um, we'll get some sleep darts. A deal well made. And then we'll get the rune. A pleasure to do business. Key to unlock the ticket booth. Someone took the ticket booth and key off a drunk guardsman assigned to protect the carriage station. With the key, unlock the ticket booth and gain access to the money inside if you can avoid the Grand Guard. Okay. You won't be sorry. There's our rewire tool. Okay, and then upgrades. Upgrading your equipment. Um, we'll go for the instant sleep dart. Um, we'll go for the enables black market shops to sell bolts which is kind of nice because you kind of want those for uh, blood fly nests um, bone charm slots yes um, greater magnification on my lens would also be kind of nice uh, crossbow capacity by five also yes tight on our money here, so I gotta really think about what we're doing. Because I also want to get the bolts, but also... I guess if we've got the sleep dart, we don't need a stinging bolt as much. But the forget and flee is such a cool concept. Um, we should go for some improvements on the actual crossbow itself. Uh, faster and further. And I think that'll do me for now. I hope you'll think of me again. I will think of you often. Okay. 
so it's possible to get caught and then still have an encounter where they say, hey, get out of here, you know? <laughs> um, Always a delight to but see. We'll, uh, we'll leave them be for now. They may or may not come up later, but Pedro Pascal is a great get, so I'm assuming he's going to play more of a role at some point. That's very cool. Um, Alright, let's go up here. How many runes have we got at the moment? Uh, we're carrying four. Um, I might go for the Shadow Walk. And I also might. Um, mm, let's do Shadow Walk. So we can assume a stealthier form for a short time. And then we've got some cool upgrades where you can assassinate or incapacitate up to two enemies during Shadow Walk. Which is cool, because but it also plays into the the domino anyway. Move faster while in your stealthier form and up to three enemies. But yeah, domino really makes that easy. So during Shadow Walk our visibility is reduced, but a moving shadow still rouses suspicion. So we could have done Domino and then Sleep Dart that whole group, right? <laughs> and then all go to sleep. I'm very curious about that. Okay, so that's that's when we know that there are howlers around because they are literally howling. Good to know, I guess. Uh, I don't have any incendiary bolts. Oh, also I bought the bulk capacity upgrade, not realizing that it only increases your actual normal crossbow bolt capacity and not the sleep darts. I don't know why that I assumed it would go to both. Um, which is a little bit of a shame. Definitely a shame. But what can you do? I don't have any uh, flammable stuff here, so we're just gonna... Do that. There you go. It's actually not too bad to be able to take a nest out on your own if you do a bit of slicing. there? It's buzzing, but I don't know where. Unless there's another one. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um. Stop. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That hurt! Silly flies. Okay. Dried blood fly husk. Okay. No amber today. So we've got bone charms and runes over that way, and then we've got... Another bone charm, a very great distance away. I don't exactly know where we're going at the moment in this building, but we're just exploring.
just kicking shit around, picking shit up. This place has already been looted. Okay. I'll be on my way in that case. Where are we? Whoa. How you managed to get there? Be careful. Those people in the oil tanks might still be around. Okay. So people with the oil tanks might still be around. Oh, and that gets us to... That just... We just went, like, the really long way around to get to the black market. <laughs> Instead of, um... You said whale oil. I got it for you. Not easy to pinch, either. No! Oh, hang on. It won't work Wait. without another tank. Not enough blast. You gotta trust Wait, me. this isn't the black market. Oh, all right. I don't know shit about explosives. Never said I did. It's the howlers, right? Some more. Good. You can't rush jobs like this. It takes a smooth hand. You can't piss around here forever either. Eventually, some wanker will see us, and the howlers will catch. But I hear you. Oh, this is not the howlers. Okay. Fifteen years ago. That's okay. Jessamine, I'm trying to get you to tell me about this world. Alright, we're gonna do Domino. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Right, I need to domino both of these. Do I have to do it twice? To like, there you go. Um? And then... Okay, I accidentally used my sword. <laughs> but there you go. Okay. Um, burglar. There you go. I used the domino effect. One sleep dart, two people. And we have the chance to retrieve sleep darts as well, which is good. Sarah, things are rotten here in Dunwall. Nothing is the same since the coup. It ain't safe for no one. There's no jobs, neither. You get yourself back here and take your kids. It ain't right you should have left them with me for so long. Anyway, you didn't mention how sickly they was and poor behaved. Now, you're my sister and that counts for something. But when the new month comes, I'm leaving. There's no more I could do. Why ain't they, mother? They won't listen. Can't afford to feed them no more. There's nothing left for beers or rent by the time they're done eating. And not a penny from you. Off to find your fortune in Karnaka. Some fortune, but that's the end of it. Bethy. Okay. Damn it. Where's my sleep dart? Okay, so we're apparently blowing this open with whale oil, but uh, she said that more was needed? What if we just shoot it down and see what happens? Um, very cool seeing the actual domino effect come into play though, that was awesome. My only problem is how do I blow up this stuff without, uh, I, I guess I'll just shoot it. And then hope for the best. It's, it's really interesting because I you can hide stuff you know, but then if you want to ever access it, you've got to unhide everything and start again. Do you know why I didn't think to move the bodies? Uh, that was all for nothing anyway, because it didn't even get through the wall. Um, oops. More whale oil was indeed needed. <laughs> oh god. Okay. And here's me thinking I was just walking into an alternate entrance for the... Black Market. Kinda fucked myself there. Thanks again. So this is the, yeah, this is the group down here. 
Okay, so Paolo and the gang. Can we have a chat with them, or will we get in trouble? They're not highlighted as red. Shall we have a chat with them? And it's interesting with the domino effect, it, you can't just attack... You can't just hit one, you have to actually ping your targets. Which is intriguing. Who do we have here? I wonder why your face is covered, lady. That's my business. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Paolo. In this part of town, everything's my business. And slumming rich kids should remember all that etiquette they learned. Maybe you need another lesson. Is that what you came down here for? Okay. So that's what happens if you do it this way. Leave while you can. Okay. I'm backing away. <laughs> but I'm curious, like, okay? What's going on here? Oh, shit. oh. I'm curious, right? If I... I think I gotta be, like... I gotta be much closer before I can even get them. Where are you? Look everywhere. I I can't uh well, she's probably hiding somewhere close. It can't be hard to find this one loser. Whoa. That's what the fuck? Look at this. What the fuck? That's so cool. That's scary as hell. <laughs> All right. I thought you could. Uh, you cannot. Oh, hello. This one. Uh, you cannot activate powers. You cannot activate powers while you're in Shadow Walk. Huh. I'll buy you rum if you find this chaffer. Come on now. Let me no use. No Whatever Next then. Time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, Paolo! Paolo's turned into a bunch of rats! What the fuck? Dude, what? I put them all to sleep, but... I wanted to see if I could loot them. Oh my god! Jesus! Wait, so... Does Paolo have outsider powers? He's turned himself into a swarm of rats. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Well, this is my reward for trying out Domino on this group. What the fuck? Um, how do I get him to leave me alone? Because I don't want to kill the rats. All I wanted to do was put him to sleep, and look what happened. Help! Guards! You deal with it. <laughs> Dude, look. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, dude, what the fuck? No use running. No! Oh, shit. Dude, dude. Dude, what the fuck? Dude. All of them. Oh, my God. Does he know where I am? He doesn't. Oh, look. They've split up. Oh, wall of light. That's not good. You're all gone. Okay, so tell me, have I messed up big time? Because, well, don't tell me, that's a rhetorical question. Um, I'm just very confused because I was like, well, what happens if I put them all to sleep? But he exploded into a bunch of rats. 
Did he become that swarm of rats? Was he ever even real? I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what to say. They they just killed they just killed a bunch of guards, uh, and then half of the pack got burned and the other ran away. Because we definitely didn't kill Paolo. We used the sleep dart and then he tra and then rats took his place. And then half of the rats have died. All the guards are dead. Um, I wonder if they were going to be paying the price for that one uh, later. We could have just ignored them, but I was curious. All right, we can at least get in here now. We're in a Venta station. Um, so if I put this in here and I fill this up, uh, would I be able to use this on that wall? Um, where there were a couple of whale oil tanks. Uh, can I put more and get this bad boy open? See, this is why I got confused, because I was like, there's the whole staircase that goes down, so I... Uh, okay, there you go. All right, here. Um, nice! I actually got in. It was just one, and it, and it was indeed one more. And now I'm able to get into the black uh, market here. Yeah. Oh, I'm robbing a black market store. Okay. I don't think I've been seen, but she is just saying damn, damn, damn a lot. What now? I can't go to the Grand Guard. Remember when she was like, um, <laughs> you're always one of my friends. You're welcome here. Against who? Paolo? He's a bunch of rats right now. <sighs> so, black market shop key. Does that mean I get to open future black markets <laughs> with the key, or is it only for this specific door? Oh, I see. And then you can grab these as well. You can do the full robbing. The full robbing, indeed, indubitably. Okay, wonderful. I'm a good person. There you go. You will never see me again. So that's what the burglars were trying to do. That makes so much sense. Wondering if this bone charm that's uh, so far away is one that we're able to obtain right now, and we just have to go on a hell of a journey for it. Like, can we can we ascend to the tops of these rooftops? Because I would assume that maybe we're to get there by other means, but. We don't really have a clear way up, unless it's all the way over here. Go over here, maybe get to this rooftop, but I, I don't know. Oh, yep. Okay. I've been baited by the bone charm. Like, maybe I can get up there. 
literally just slid down and died. Okay. That's not happening. I was curious. It was possible. In my heart of hearts. Okay, well, we won't go there. Uh, potentially, we will end up curving around and getting it. Because it, it seems very far away. Electrical burst. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, increases the area effect for stun mines. Well, we do have two extra slots here, so I can at least put some things in. And then when I get more money, I can do the next one as well. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Whoa. Um. Okay. Interesting timing, sir. One night at the body house. One night. I'm covered in shankers. <sighs> Oh god, there's another guy, literally right there, just tying his shoelaces! <laughs> oh my god. What the hey. fuck? Hey! Ow. The fuck? Is he just standing there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, the perfect timing for that dude to be tying his shoelaces, I swear to God. Okay. Anyway. The Silver Spike on Howlers. Your dear editor is stepping aside this week to give you both sides of an argument raging across the city. Guest editor, the Howler Blight. The letter published last week by the Gazette was an outrage. How could Madame Aunto suggest that Duke, D the Dust District and even Karnaka itself would be better off if we legitimized Paolo and his Howlers in any way? Instead, decent folk should hope to wake up one morning and read that Paolo is finally dead or in jail. Or a pile of rats. And why should we be wary of the Abbey? Only a witch need worry about the wrath of the Overseers. The Howlers are nothing but a bunch of cutthroats who never worked a day in their life. Everything they have, they stole. If you want their so-called protection, it comes at a price. On the contrary, the Overseers have dedicated their lives to spreading the good values of the Seven Strictures. Believe me, the dust in Batista is not in our streets. It is in our hearts, and only the Abbey will make us clean again. Sebastian Armitage. So it looks like we're taking this carriage, but before we do that, got stuff. So I guess that bone charm is two thirty meters away. Oh, need your help. that bone charm is two thirty meters away. Will be where we go on the carriage. Oh, oh, um, Jesus, horn shop. Okay. Oh, I was lured in by this person. Okay, you're gonna kill your friend. Okay, you just killed your friend. You're the one killing your friend. You shouldn't have wandered outside without bodyguards, milady. Oh, okay, I'm being attacked by howlers. Gotcha. Cut you into pieces. I bet you've been living a soft life. Jesus, relax, everyone. Okay, so made a proper enemy of the howlers. Is it because? that I did what I did earlier and they got word of it somehow 
or were they going to attack me regardless and I was lured in by that person in the courtyard? Yale, you screwed me. Paolo was where you said he'd be, alone. We knifed him 50 times. He was choking blood when I drove a rail spike through the side of his head. Then he was just gone and there weren't nothing but a bunch of rats. Not sure he pulled that trick, but you must have known, scumbag. Next day, Paolo came back with 10 howlers, got us a couple at a time, dragged Brenda and Toma screaming into the street and bashed out all their teeth with a hammer. Put that crazy powder in their eyes, had them seeing terrible things, screaming like carnival clowns, mouths all running red. Then Paolo gave the word and they shot him with those screaming darts they used. I stayed hid. So I'm finished, asshole, and I bet you were working with the howlers all along. So I swear, if I ever see you again, I'll stick you, Sabine. So, the proof that uh, this Paolo, he be, uh, he be rat boy. Who's this asshole that lured me out here? Unawares. Silver dust and howling bolts. So this is what they were referring to. Put the dust in their eyes. And then the... Um, howling bolts. Blinds enemies. I came for a rune and I got a fight and a rune. Got a tripwire here. But from this side, interestingly enough. So I could have approached. Ah, that's also how you can get around the wall of light get into the back here, gotcha. Okay, that's inside. Oh, hello. When the Grand Guard go into the place and coming. see it packed solid with blood flies, they burn the building to the ground. You? And the ones on either side. They may just smoke flash it. Either oh. way, the jewels will be ruined. We're not giving our money, are we? Have some faith. They It'll just be more Kronaka complicated than I thought it would be. The Dukes I let like the blood flies get out of hand this year. Am I ever gonna catch a break? Nobody's looking out for nobody right now. We'll go back tonight and dig the jewels out. After that, we'll make a quick exit from Karnaka. I could go to sleep without Wanna buy one? if I'd wake up. Dig the jewels out, huh? I don't ever remember it being this hard to breathe. <laughs> This place has changed a lot over the years, and not for the better. I can get some jewels, Betty. I repair broken mining equipment, so unless you need a second-hand pickaxe, I can't help you. I'm going for a black bone charm, actually. floor up. Huh. <clears throat> Ooh, and we've got a safe, but what's the safe code? Note from Cory Brockburn. Janice, you'll find everything in the safe. I've written the combination in the usual place. You know where to look in the office. I changed all the safe tumblers recently because I feel like I'm being followed. Pretty sure I heard shuffling and heavy breathing from somewhere near in the dark while I was closing up the office for the night. It's not the Grand Guard this time, but we're being watched for certain. It's probably safer to postpone our next gathering. Can you warn the others? I'll leave for Calero when I'm done with today's clients. All right, so 
Combination in the usual place in the office, huh? They make it really hard to uh, pick up all the coins without closing the cash register. <laughs> okay. The usual place. Those civilians are very loud, aren't they? Oh, hang on, I found it. Oh, you bastard. One eight seven. It's been smudged. It's not 187. That's not an eight. One. That's a laugh. How would she know what a full day's work looks Ooh. like? Hmm. Well, I guess. If you truly want to figure it out, you can just go and do all of them until you get the correct number. Oh, it's 117? Master Chief, do you mind telling me what you're doing on this safe code? Sir, being the wrong number. It's re That was weird. Gathering of the Regenters. That, the blurry one does not look like a one at all. All members present. Primary agenda. Possible actions for the upcoming anniversary of the death of Empress Jessamine Coldwood. Proposal by Corrie Brockburn. Letter to the Karnaka Gazette explaining that while her murder was reprehensible, the end results may have been positive for the Empire. Action. Motion approved unanimously. Proposal by Janice Tynes. Members wear Lord Regent's crest armbands on the anniversary. Objection by Corrie Brockburn. Lovely idea, but it may hurt business for members who need to deal with many clients on that day. Clients may find it in poor taste. Action. Four votes against, three in favor. Motion rejected. Counter proposal by Janice Tynes. Armbands could be worn on the 15th anniversary of the Lord Regent's unlawful arrest. Motion approved unanimously. Proposal by Teodoro Benetez. Uh, Benitez. Campaign demanding wider deployment of the Wall of Light brought back into use in Karnica by Duke Luca Abel. The boldest measures are the safest. Action. Vote delayed until word comes from the Grand Guard leadership, collecting facts on reductions in crime across Karnica. Proposal added to agenda for next gathering. Cocktails and spirits served. I told her if you want my advice, just pay them. Okay, then we just need to go up to the next floor. Breakable, I'm be breaking it. Hey, yeah. Okay, I gotta break it a different way, huh? Let me in here. All right. Can I? Uh, I can just grenade the damn thing, can't I? What else am I gonna use the grenades for? That's a cool visual effect. Clear. We got a painting of the Lord Regent. The Spy Master's Axie of Asymmetry. It's the Lord Regent from the previous GAM. You can also get in here from above. There you go. The Child Empress. Oh! A reflection of my journey to the Pandesian continent, too. How intriguing! Sokolov's book is here, too. Yeah, yeah, I can finally get my part, too. Hiya! New Bone Charm, Familiar Scent. Wolfhounds cannot smell you. Sure. <laughs> Bless me. Wolfhounds cannot smell me is actually uh, very good. I'll put that on. Right this instant. Ew. Okay. It's all dressed up and everything. Okay. 
That's a choice. Uh, let's read chapter 2 of Circle of this book here. Chapter 14. Chapter 2, chapter 14. You know, it's all, it's all the same. We were only miles from shore, but our approach was marred by numerous hidden reefs and jagged rocks. They lay shallow when we spied two vessels that had succumbed to them some time ago. The remaining crew was uncharacteristically silent as we edged by the weathered wrecks. The first mate declared a particularly narrow channel to be unpassable, but the captain dispatched ten crewmen onto the submerged coral with sledgehammers. Thereafter, each chest deep in water, they pulled the Antonia Aquilo into the tiny channel with ropes. It proved a marvelous solution. However, just as we were about to lower the rope ladders, tragedy struck. As the men were beset by a school of reef-dwelling eels, apparently their toxic bites were quite painful. From the railing, we could see them swarming the men who begged us for aid before succumbing to the paralytic effects of the toxin. Within moments, all was still in the water. We continue on in silence, and by sunset, we had cleared the bars and put anchor in a bay with a red rock bench and emerald overgrown beyond. I confess I was near giddy to put my feet on land again. The smell of ripening fruits and warm earth was as pleasing to me as cherished vintage. We gathered wood and made fires and indulged in some tinned meat and lemons from our stores. How good it was to slumber on the beach with a crackle of embers nearby, having finally escaped the cramped and damp quarters of our vessel. We took turns with the watch and passed a quiet night. At last, we stood on Pandician soil. Very good there, sir. And the Bango coastline. And then we also have... The Child Empress, uh, excerpt from her historical series. Now, this is this is going to be cool. An interesting uh, apartment focused on the past here. You know, you've got like the the office below, which is, you know, the motion of the Lord Regent's unlawful arrest, and they've got a painting of him in here, uh, and then the historical books and stuff. It's like very realistic, which feels really great. Like the all the different regions of the world being affected by the, you know, the political motions. It's great. There was a definitive moment when people stopped calling Emily Coldwell the Child Empress. It came after an ambush by the Regenters, an extremist group who wanted to return Dunwall to the authoritarianism of the Lord Regent's time. So I guess we're in the sort of the office of the Regenters here. On the way back to Dunwall Tower, Coldwin's carriage was blocked between two gates, with her attackers firing pistols and even throwing a grenade. With the royal protector too far away to be of service, the young empress, only 14, found herself all alone in the carriage, save for her friend, Alexei Mayhew. Okay. Coldwin's supporters are, uh, are lucky that Mayhew was there. She was brave enough to grab a grenade that had landed at their feet, throwing it back at the assailants and saving the empress. When one of the men dropped down from the forward gate, it was Emily Coldwin who yanked free a short railway brace and beat the man senseless with it. With the city watch closing in, the two girls held their ground against the debris of the carriage until the situation was secure. It was. It is said that Emily Coldwin refused to have the Regenters executed for their crimes, as this is hailed and this is hailed by many as her first adult decision as Empress. Very good. I like getting some past lore on uh, Emily, for sure. Very fun. Okay, in terms of what we now um, have to collect, I think we've done this area with our items. We haven't found any blueprints so far. Um, but, you know... We will keep searching. Uh, okay. That is the end of this little complex. We're out of here. So we can get on the carriage and see where that takes us. Uh, I don't think we've been in here, actually. <clears throat> At least down the bottom. Interesting getup you have hmm. there. Hundred times I thought about leaving this place. <laughs> Done more whiskey, okay. Um, and then that's where we got the Outsider's Shrine, I dare say. We've covered some decent ground, and we should head off now. Your face is covered. The Grand Guard won't like that. Wow. 
hang on. I haven't been in here. Blueprint! Haha! -ha! Pyrosonic casing. I was talking about you just before. Where's my blueprint? There it is. In a section that we had yet to explore. Note to employees. One of the booth keys has been stolen again. This time I'm not having it remade, so you have to share the remaining key. Pippa, when your shift is over, just wait for Na Narkiso to arrive, then hand the key over to him. Narkiso, you wait for Daniel, and so on. Nobody leave the key in some stupid hidey hole or whatever. If the last key is lost or stolen, we won't be able to open the booth, and you'll all be out of work. If you're worried, pull your coin and have another key made, or go buy the old one back from the black market, as I'm pretty sure that's where it is now. So this is our ticket booth uh, key that we purchased. There you go. Winslow Safe Company. Whoa, who's that pretty babe? Mine. Okay, lovely. I think we can get out of here now. Now we can go. Take me to this potential final bone charm, please. That's the goal. Go to the Upper Aventa District. Oh my god, it's, I'm on a roller coaster, dude. <laughs> I'm on a roller coaster ride for sure. Where's the loop to loop? This is so cool. Wow. You can see Jindosh's mansion from here. The gate's down. I'll need the code. The Upper Aventa District. Okay. Um, and there's that bone charm. Now much, much closer. Hopefully it's the same one. Corrupt bone charm and a rune as well. So find the carriage gate code. What's going to happen to this city? Give me a handful of the clockworks and I'll clean up the dust district. I don't know. Maybe the tall boys were better from the time of the rat plague. They made people stand up straight. Times change. If the Duke has his way, we'll have an army of the clockwork soldiers by this time next year. Look at them sipping their tea. He's unconscious while sitting, but he's frozen in that, oh, but he's frozen in that position. How weird. So he just like, he's just sitting there reading and he's going, uh, uh, and then he's just unconscious. He doesn't even like, there's no animation for, I guess, for him to just fall asleep on the table. He's just frozen. <laughs> Split the take. Lieutenant Rakos. By now, you've had, a hard, had time to think it over. I'm in a good position where I'm at, and I've got the same deal going with four others in the guard, spread out over Karnaka, people I trust, watching major entry points. The offer's unchanged. If our very important person from Dunwall comes through, alone or with anyone else, and you're part of the squad taking them down, do whatever it takes to keep it quiet, whatever it takes. Bring the body to me, and we'll, gather, we'll all gather up. The six of us will take credit for the arrest, and we'll split the Duke's reward. Money and maybe a post at the Grand Palace. Stick with us in this, Lieutenant, and you'll increase your odds. But don't tell a single soul. Mm. No one knows what happened. Could be anything. This is very funny. The Astounding Clockwork Soldiers, a precise history by the creator himself, Kieran Jindosh. Chapter 23. Dear readers, you'll be fascinated to know that earlier models of my clockwork soldier had human-like faces. Allow me to explain. 
As you know, from chapters 18 through 22, I had been testing the clockwork soldiers against a wider range of enemies. Early in this process, a problem emerged. The would-be thieves and assailants were not intimidated by the delicate ceramic faces of the earlier prototypes. One criminal even believed he recognized an uncle and attempted conversation. Undeterred, I set about redesigning the head mechanism, encasing it with a terrifying visage. I knew I had found the right design when my first test subjects fell to their knees in fear. Yeah. Cool. It's Konshu. Okay, so I can uh, rewire this, but I do not have a rewire tool available, so... The clankers of Karnakas Street. They call them clankers in this. Get those battle droids out of here. Beware a strange sound, like the clanking of a factory machine. You might be seconds from an encounter with the latest work of our grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. And what should we think of these new marvels of industry, coveted by the wealthiest members of Karnakan society and standing vigil over their estates? I will tell you. These clockwork soldiers are a danger to us all. They're taking lives with all the morality of a shopkeeper's adding machine. They fight for days without rest, as long as the whale oil tanks hidden in their backs don't run dry. Tyranny awaits unless we act now and re-establish the lawful society established by the former Duke of Sokonos, twice the leader his indolent, irresponsible son has proven to be. Citizens of Karnaka, fight to get these clankers off our streets. For the Republic! Yes. Sakonan uh, dentists, dude. With an incendiary bolt. Okay. Ooh! Oh, he discovered the body. Scared the shit out of me. Oh. Oh. No use running. Oh, um, oh, I've been gutted. Okay. Damn, I got gutted. <laughs> uh, I should have done the domino and s done a sleep dart or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't expect to get caught. I didn't expect someone to come up and investigate, silly me. Okay, um, that's all right. The clock works and I'll clean up the dust district. I don't know, maybe the top. Better from the time of the Rat Plague. They made people stand up straight. Times change. If the Duke has his way... Hey, who are you? Stop! Whoa, he cut off his own head. Cut off his own head! Okay. Did you know that that's possible? He cut off his own head. Um, so that's what happens if you decide to... Um, ah! <laughs> so that's what happens if you <laughs> decide to do that, uh, by the way. Um, my lord. Okay. Um, oh! My god. Why do I keep getting surprised by that? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to play around with a door. Alright, everybody chill. Everybody relax. They cut their own heads off, by the way. I'll have I'll have you know, they cut their own heads off. Um, and I had nothing to do with it. Now, I'll take my bone charm, got a feast, and be on my way. Um, white rats can be eaten. So you could, like... I'm sure. Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? Why did she do that? Did you see- What was that? Why? But you walked in! And then you- You walked in! <laughs> she walked in and then turned around. What the fuck? Hello? Okay, anyway. You could uh, knock out uh, Paolo. He would turn into a bunch of white rats. Then you could eat him for, for mana. Jeez. Me and all my friends. Look like... I don't know. But I, I don't like that. Know. Better have a look. Whose voice is that? 
I've heard that in a video game before. Whose voice is that? Hmm. I swear I saw someone. Come on! I don't have time for games! Alright, there's people coming in and investigating from the outside. I'm just gonna keep messing around upstairs. Alloy of polarization. Okay, nice. God, we're in a classroom with wanted posters. Got a veteran over here. Uh, side alley key. Nice. I'll make sure that he can't mess with me. No one's waking you up. New gate code. Attention everyone, the new gate code is 913. Once you've read and memorized it, destroy the note. Do not write them down or forget to destroy the notes. I love that that's always the way, isn't it? They always do that. They're always like, remember, destroy this note. 913. Alright, today, class, we're going to be going over our wanted posters. Oh. Holy shit! Nobody there. Nobody there. It gives me always thinking that when a guard enters a room, they'll remain facing the way that they entered for a while, but they they really give up the chase quite early and then just they turn around. And they're like, alright, I'm heading back. It baffles me. Okay, now I gotta head down, but there's definitely people investigating. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, N, G, <laughs> H, I, J, K. The subtitles. Elementally. U, N, V, double V, X, Y, Z, and Z. Now I got my A's and Z's. Tell me what you think of me. Very what funny. Give for a bottle of pear soda. A bottle of pear soda. Dr. Hypatia to resign, says Grand Palace. A statement issued from the Grand Palace today, signed by Duke Abel, indicates that Dr. Alexandra Hypatia has resigned from her position as Chief Alchemist of Adamaya Institute for issues concerning her health. Additionally, the statement advises the Adamaya will remain closed for the foreseeable future. The statement did not mention the fate of the various cures Dr. Hypatia has been developing. Readers will know her popular Adamaya solution, which is said to help miners with their work-related maladies, as well as combating blood fly fever. Indeed. I was like, oh, he's facing the other way. Quick, grab him. <laughs> Hesitation is defeat. Okay. Got to just go all in. All right. We got him. Pack it up. All right. We've cleared out this place. And everyone is sleeping soundly. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on... Hours. Just the one rune. Just the one rune today. Picking up a lot of books. Okay. Let's have a look at these gate controls then. Because that'll take us right to the mansion, I believe. There's, uh, I suppose there's more around here that we can take a peek at. I don't know how many guards there are around here. After doing that, I'm going to see. Grab you. Uh, 
wanted. The Howlers. Citizens of Karnaka. The Howlers are not your friends. I swear I'll find a way to win back the trust of the people. So, there's the dude. We shut down this gate. Oh, oops. Hey, you! Uh, oops, oops, oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, God, never! <laughs> I don't know why I was so careless and just grabbed him. All right, that's fine. Um, so it seems you can either do the gate code and then get in, or you can take the long way. <laughs> yeah, so the gate will take us right there or we can take the, the long path. I assume the long path would lead to discovering more things, I guess. Clockwork Soldier Basics once again. We've got a rune to discover. through multiple realities there. Okay. We got people. Okay. Shall we knock at the door and get their attention? Dukes. She and her husband got one of those clockwork soldiers months before it one else. Played a party. Oh, something wrong? You saw something. Oh shit. Why can't I go under the bed as a shadow? Come on. Oh, God. Being a shadow is so weird. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that twice. Yeah. That's right, we need to use some of our atomized solution every now and again. Alright, we got our rune. Are we allowed to just. Okay, I think they're just normal civilians. Be on your way, now! You have to understand. No one I'm going no to call to for help if you don't go. Oh. That's for certain. Oh, well, I was, I was going. Okay. Help! Help me! Someone! Anyone! Someone! Protect me! The mass fugitive! Help! I need assistance! I don't want to die! No one's getting any guards, lady. <laughs> You're all going to sleep. <laughs> Everyone's going to sleep. You are also going to sleep. <laughs> Everyone's going to sleep today. Everyone's going to sleepy time. All you had to do was just let me go about my business. But you couldn't do that, could you? And now you are getting robbed. By the good Emily Coldwin. And don't you forget it. <laughs> right, now I can take a look around. God. What does it take to get a, a bit of uh, exploration around here? The Duchess in Green by Douglas Harwickle, historian. 
Much has been written on Theodana Sabel and his sons, but in her own quiet way, the Duchess Cala Sabel made contributions to Sokonos that will never be forgotten. A collector of artwork, she commissioned the painting Radana Sabel's Incongruence with Time from Anton Sokolov. It was a tribute to her late son, Radanus, who died at the hands of a deranged street scoundrel while studying abroad. The Duchess Sabel was also an architect and busied herself with projects as varied as the building of the Orphans of Seafarers Academy and the installation of the marble flooring in the original Ducal Palace. The marble was a gift to the Abel family from the late Empress Jasmine Caldwin, who had the stone quarried from the Cliffs of Redmore. However, the ducal resi residence was raised to make room for the new palace constructed under the direction of Luca Abel. Substantially, all of the artworks and treasures from the old residence were lost or destroyed. Callus was a private person and rarely made public appearances. She died in her 57th year after a tragic fall from a balcony. Yes, she was, uh, she fell. She was not pushed. Do not insinuate otherwise. Okay. Now from here, we can continue to press on to the mansion. Now if I do a bit of this... Yeah, just gotta get a bit closer to them to do this. Just eat shit. Oh. Hmm. Make something move. Very sleepy, all of you. Very cool. Uh, so, the sleep dart is your most effective way because you will be able to take all of them out in the one go, but if you decide that you want to choke one out, you have to at least get a successful choke before they all go out, otherwise they're still active. Oh, actually, I think we have to take the carriage to the mansion no matter what it looks like. Look at that view, baby. We can at least get this bone charm. And of course, there will be blood flies involved. I will slice! I haven't got any blood amber today. A shiver shivering silhouette. Okay. Uh, that is, enemies miss more often with ranged attack, but we are more visible. More visible? Nice. Eh. Ugh. Away from me. Alright, I think we're good. We got paintings, we got blueprints, we got the stuff. We can head to the mansion now, I believe. Damn, we actually really can get to the mansion without getting the gate code. You can go all the way along this way. Just trying to see if there's anything to really grab on the ground here. I think we'll take the carriage. Although, the carriage would alert them to our presence, would it not? It pains me to leave an optional objective not completed, you know what I mean? Kind of like, I gotta, gotta do it. At least put the gate code in, and that might, you know, mark it as, as red. Duke Abel Essential in the Dunwall Coup. Karnaka's own Duke, Luca Abel, reportedly played a key role in the recent coup that unseated the unpopular Emily Coldwin. Our new Empress, Delilah Coldwin, made quick work of dissenters and has already issued several pro proclamations, uh, which are sure to be welcomed in Dunwall after the failed reign of Emily Coldwin. Now, we actually have read that. Uh, we read that already. Indeed. 
I know that discipline has gone to shit over the last few years, and especially this year, but this is a reminder that gate code should not be written down and left lying around. Where just anyone who wanders through the office can see them. These codes are for Grand Guard personnel only, and for good reason. Once you've read and memorized them, destroy them. Maybe your rank and assignment don't mean squat to you, but if anything happens to Jindosh, we'll all face a firing squad at the Grand Palace. Oh, well, we don't want that, do we? Okay, so I've completed the open the gate for the carriage mission, which means I can take the carriage or I can go the cool way. Uh, let's go the cool way. Just for style points, because, you know, what if you get detected when you take the carriage in? And this is your stealthier way of getting in. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, who's this? Who died trying to do this? They were masked. Side passage. Okay, no one was here waiting for us, but you know, just in case, we took the scenic route. The mansion has a strange beauty to it. Maybe I'll find a way to end this without killing Kieran Jindosh. We'll have to see how we go, won't we? Hello, knock knock. Enter the Clockwork Mansion. Okay, the next part of the mission awaits us. All right, I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. All right, with that one, we'll be bringing this episode of Dishonored 2 to a close. We'll be proceeding through the mansion next time to find Jindosh and Sokolov, determining the fates of both of these players in our game. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really have been enjoying uh, figuring all the ins and outs of all of the characters and engaging with as much as possible uh, in a purely professional fashion where we make no mistakes and it's the greatest most professional looking gameplay you've ever seen we have we have fun here that's the most important part i'm having a blast really enjoying this world uh, and i hope you are enjoying it as well thank you so much for watching today and i will see you next time